should say Resident Evil Zero, the HD remaster for the Nintendo Switch. I want to attempt to play it in hard difficulty. This should be part one. Hopefully I can beat the game because I tried to beat it in on, on that difficulty level before and I didn't manage it at the time. <coughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, new game. Hard difficulty. Biohazards. Zero. Uh, display uh, original, uh, control type original, yeah, okay. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Really? Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> bizarre, bizarre. Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Ragathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. How did you know they were Our good men, by the way? And ruthless. Keep your guard up. <clears throat> Unless you knew them, of course. The 
door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. It says extremely so slowly. <coughs> <clears throat> this is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that we have survived. <gasps> Ah, uh, crap. No! I didn't mean to, to do a U-turn like that. Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, crappity crap. I want to avoid confrontation as much as possible, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, okay, no, I'm fine. Let's just... And this train's employee's body has been torn apart. He's holding something. Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. So. You seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. Could shoot, you know. That could be seen as a joke. Him calling her doll face because her face looks more like a doll's than anything else in this version compared to the GameCube version. Edward! <coughs> all right? What happened? Worse than <laughs> Not quite sure that all the updates they brought to the character models for this version are for the best. The forest is full of zombies. Monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. Ah! Mm. Let's hope I can do this right. Don't get bit. Ah, crap. I wasted ammo. Holding something. Oof. Okay, um. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about when I was playing Resident Evil 4 the other day. I keep mistaking the buttons because in some buttons, in some games, it's the X button to open the menu. Here it's the Y button. In Resident Evil 4, it's the Start button. Uh, they keep changing these things. gonna need this okay so I think it would be for the best if I wasn't too shy about saving so that I could reload my save for example and like try again if things don't just just don't go well enough because last time I tried I wasted a lot of ammo and a lot of healing items for example when it would have been perhaps easy to dodge things and the like
Mm, well, we have a document here, but I think that that might be everything that you can get from this area. He's covered in slime. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I feel confident enough that there is nothing else to be found in here. <coughs> Yeah, that little time to get into that room tends to be a bit long like that. Which is something I don't understand. This game seems to have less to load than Resident Evil 4, and yet it takes longer to load. For uh, no valid reason, other than to piss you off. <laughs> okay, well, let's... Save. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna delete that one because I'm stuck on that one. I'm stuck in a situation where I can't progress any further. That was already in hard difficulty. So I've already attempted it before, but I couldn't, couldn't manage it. I hope that I will, well, handle this better this time around. Uh, leave this behind. Yeah, this next section, if I have to dodge all these zombies, that might be troublesome. Because <coughs> I don't intend to kill them. Okay. That happened. She's bit already. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico. Hello. Can you read me? Please respond. I'm gonna get a visitor here. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, when you don't kill that specific zombie in the previous room, he follows you into that one. <coughs> this is something I never m noticed until I was trying to play it in hard difficulty and not killing him, leaving him behind. gonna be dangerous from here on in why don't we cooperate cooperate with you listen little girl if you haven't noticed there's some pretty freaked out things on this train and I for one want to get out of here I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone you expect me to trust you a wanted felon I don't need your help I can handle this on my own and don't call me little girl all right miss do-it-yourself what should I call you the name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? <laughs> and ten seconds later, she's uh, in danger. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, that makes me. That that reminds me actually. Uh, oh yeah, I might as well use this, I guess. Um. Yeah, I want to use this and change her uh, her outfit to something else. Uh, I quite like the one that she was gonna have in a rough, what what, rough lab handbag three seventy nine sub. How are you doing? I found your Rudy C three Twitch channel. Hello there. Uh, do I know you from somewhere else? Perhaps you say you found my Twitch channel. Maybe you watch on YouTube. Perhaps. Resident Evil Zero HD, 
Nice. Ah. Uh, well, no thanks. I, uh, create my own overlays and panels myself. I like doing it that way. <laughs> uh, no, it's not that one that I was a big fan of. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that one. I like that outfit. Ah, uh, no, she can't go that way just yet. <coughs> pretty, sh pretty sure it's about that thing. Excuse me, sir. Sir. <gasps> this one I found out last time, you can just avoid. You can just leave the room and not have to fight it. And the same thing happens, whether you fight it or not. Who is that guy? Oh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. I wonder if these really get added to your inventory you when he joins you. you. All right. The cutscene shows him passing them over to her, but does that actually translate into uh, something that you can really use, or uh, or is that just for show? Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. I need to get reacquainted with this. Ah, I think I think actually yeah, she has more ammo now than she did before. Okay, first order of things, I want her to be idle. And then um same thing for her. because I want to save the ammo. Uh, okay, yeah, no. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do is uh, this. Actually, th does he need to go up there with her or not? I'll check it out. Okay. Okay, now hold on. I'm not even sure they, they, they have to be, like, the, the both of them. Um... Uh, Yeah, 
climb up the ladder. Our cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable, yes. There's supposed to be a key here. Yeah. First order of business is to send the key to Billy. Switch over to the other character. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oops. Because he's going to need the key. Then she doesn't need the ammo. When she's locked in there, she's she's gonna be safe for a while. So, I'm gonna send him the ammo. This is kind of a slow process, but it has to be done. <clears throat> now I gotta go fight the scorpion. Hmm. Yeah, there's bound to be a few zombies in on along the way. Ah, crap, I thought I might be able to dodge this one, but... Ooh! <laughs> okay, uh... That was a pure stroke of luck. Hurry up before this one moves out in the way. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Just slow it already. Don't need it. Discard it. <coughs> okay, so those two herbs here, I'm not gonna pick them up. Not yet, anyway, because he can't mix herbs together. That's something that only Rebecca can do. Ah, oh, there's the, there's the button. A 
Okay, so my bro had a really good way of dealing with the scorpion, but I can't remember exactly how we handle it. Because I watched him play the GameCube version not long ago. He had a pretty good thing going on with, with just a handgun. It's not supposed to be called a scorpion, but that's what it looks like. It, it has a, like, B-O-W name, a bioorganic weapon name, but a, a code name, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Yeah, the knife I'm not gonna need. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Isn't there something in there? Oh no, or, or maybe I already got it. Ah, uh, that's an in increment. Okay, well. Ah, good evening, RNG, or uh, good afternoon is what I should say in your case, I guess. Ah, uh, it's going well. So far, anyway. Mm. Yeah, afternoon, yeah. Come on, get the ice pick here, right? Gonna drop it on the floor for the time being. Shotgun ammo. Okay, bus time. <laughs> And have the time just waiting for things to load. Um, on the GameCube, maybe three or four times. On the Switch, I already beat it once, but never on hard difficulty, though. I already beat it on Switch like uh, last month or, or thereabouts, so it's still kind of fresh in my memory. I think that's what my bro was doing. Ah, no! things considered, that could have been a lot worse. I 
Ah! That was pretty lame on my part. Nah, he can sustain one more hit. Must be close to being dead, right? No. Come on. Getting gold very quickly. Uh, finally. Hmm, should I use this just yet or not? Uh, I'll just wait, I guess. Hey, what, what the heck? It hit me when it was already dying? I've seen you cheese your way out of many bosses, but this one, one of the top. <laughs> well, hey, when it's hard difficulty, you have to deal with much worse shit later down the line. Come on! Uh, let's see. Should I use this or not? Hmm. Ah, uh, tell you what, I'm going to leave some of these things behind. So I can carry more stuff. <laughs> that took a lot of a lot more ammo than I thought it was going to though. My bro was playing it, I think, on normal difficulty, and that didn't take nearly as much ammo as it did here. Uh. Uh, wait, what did I do? I didn't pick it up. What? Ah, this room takes so long to load, too. Uh, gonna pay dearly for that mistake. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, I already attempted to beat this on hard difficulty before, and I couldn't do it, because I, hen I ended in a situation where I just couldn't heal myself anymore. And also, I... I, j I just, like, ran out of ammo. I just couldn't find a way out of the situation I got myself stuck in. So I would have had to restart it from the beginning if I was going to go for all the achievements, just like I did for Resident Evil 1 HD Remaster. So I figured, what the heck, might as well stream it. I'm gonna have to go go through those rooms full of zombies again. I do have the first aid spray with me though. Might be able to survive it. Oh come on. I 
I know you're not doing well, Billy, but just hang in there for me, please. <coughs> ah! Oh, that w that was a very lucky placement of the enemies there. I it, it, it was no trouble at all dodging them. Yeah, this one, however. Yeah, well, I have no choice now. If I don't want to die. Uh, just. Uh, I could have done it. I just wasn't good enough. <coughs> I can't afford killing them all. They just keep coming otherwise, so... Why do I... Ah, uh, that's what I, what happened earlier. I was trying to pick the, the ice pick. Pick up the ice pick. And uh, I ended up picking up the knife, which I didn't need. Okay, that room will be full of zombies, but you can just like run for the stairs normally and not get grabbed along the way. handle this next room on his own. Why is the auto aim a aiming next to them instead of on them? I knew it. Come on. Come on. Why? Uh, sorry, I didn't notice that message earlier. How is this game on the Switch? What it released back in May. <laughs> That's how it's on the Switch. <clears throat> uh -huh. 
Okay, well, the reason I wanted to reunite them is so I could trade a few things. Uh, exchange. In terms of performance, well, it's a GameCube game to begin with. I mean, it's all pre-rendered. It's not like that hard to for for the Switch to run, or, or at least I think I should think so. Uh, Right, okay, I gotta get the... How do they call that? It's not the hook shot like in Zelda, but it, it does kind of the same thing. <laughs> uh, okay, there it is. Ah, yeah, no, I need, I need both of them. Yeah, that's true. Ah, I forgot. Yeah, those pre-rendered pre games are not the hardest thing in the world to handle for any piece of hardware, so... It shouldn't come as much of a surprise that the Switch can handle it. In fact, I think the Switch would would be good, perhaps, for th this type of game in, in memory. It's true that the load times are a bit longer on the Switch version, yeah. Well, t to be fair with the game... I hear more complaints about Resident Evil Zero than I hear about Resident Evil 1 HD because I did play through Resident Evil 1 HD. The load times are worse, I'd say, in Resident Evil 1 HD, but they're handled worse in Resident Evil Zero in that you see the door opening, but you see the door animation like freezing for, for, for like a, a few extra seconds, which gives the impression that they're a bit longer than they really are. And here I'm playing off the cartridge, so they, they, they are longer because they are off the cartridge instead of the game being installed on the internal memory of the game. Uh, of the of the system is what I should say. You have this on PC, you play with door skip. Yeah, that's, that, that's something that the PC has over every other version, yeah. You get the, a door skip mod, which is excellent, I must say. This way. Yeah. yeah, I'm aware of the existence of this, yeah. The only console Resident Evil, like of the classic ones that I can think of that had door skip was on the, on the Nintendo DS actually. The Nintendo DS version of Resident Evil 1 had door skip as well. I like that version for that reason, but I mean it's not the one that I would prefer to replay anyway because it, it, it looks really bad. <laughs> I mean the graphics haven't aged terribly well, but I mean f for a time it was good for a portable version of Resident Evil. I mean, when it's like this, for example, you don't see the door animation being fr frozen, like, per, per se. It's not too bad, but when you see the door, like, being stuck on the side, and you, you think the game is frozen, that, that it's crashed on you or something, but actually it hasn't. Uh, okay, uh, what's the next step now? Uh, use the grapple thing. Pretty sure all the original 1-3 can s door skip. Yeah, on the PC they can, yeah. I think they can by default, yeah, y you might be right on that one. If I was speedrunning, I would prefer obviously doing it on PC, I guess. But for the sake of playing it, like, more casually like this. Ah, fuck's sake. Uh, and I'm gonna need Rebecca too. Ah, yeah, that's true. That's not. That wasn't on the PC, that? Wasn't there an HD version for consoles of that one? On PS3 and Xbox 360, I think there was an HD version of that one. S they didn't release it on PC when they did release that HD version? That it's weird that I th I thought they did. Yeah, it's PS3 and 360 only. Uh. But my still come though. I mean, 
Later this year, the Switch is getting 5 and 6. So that means it will basically have every, like, major game in the series. Well, except 2, I guess, and 3. Which, the, the, the remake of 2 will never make it on the Switch. And I doubt they're going to remake 3 anytime soon. I don't know about that. I, I, just, I just don't know. I really don't know what to expect on that front. Just die already! Oh! They take too many hits. And I can throw away the next, but yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it can't be too hard to emulate, I should think. Hmm, if I'm already on danger now, this doesn't bode well for what's coming up next. Uh, um. Right, I'm gonna need Rebecca now. Hmm, and she's gonna have to pet it to get through these guys. With Dolphin it runs fine, yeah. I, I would have, I would have expected as much. <laughs> How did I manage to get through those guys? Uh, not yet, no. No, I haven't. My PC can't handle it, and I don't have a PS3 or a, uh, a PS4 or a, or Xbox One, so... So, no, I haven't. I would eventually, but... I'm afraid I have to be a bit more patient on that one. In a, in a year or two from now, I'm gonna have to like refresh my PC. I, I won't have any choice. My my laptop is already like oh, I think five years old by at the, by, by now. It's still fine for what I want to do with it, but uh, I will have to to get a better PC eventually. And I'll get Resident Evil 2 Remake on PC when I, when I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I really want to. Uh, hmm. Well, I hope I won't, I'm not gonna die from... Those things. I'm just gonna skip this for the time being. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go in that room for the time being. I just don't want them to take damage from these things. I could send Rebecca to get the red herb that's in the corridor there. And uh, the thing that you have to open with the two rings. Ah, no, no, he followed me. They're covered in the things. <laughs> well, uh, on hard difficulty, I am having a hard time. Yeah, that's for sure. I already had to give up uh, w w on my previous attempt of this. 
Actually, I don't know why I'm carrying this with me, the that thing. I can leave it behind. I will retrieve it from the tr from the wreckage of the train when I get to the training center. Health, you were first time you played on hard? Mm-hmm. Well, you can be pretty sure that Rebecca, if she gets if she gets grabbed once, she's already on caution. A second time, she's already on caution red. A third time, she's on danger, and on the fourth time, she's dead. Billy is a bit more resilient than that, I guess, but uh, not by much. Uh, not on hard difficulty, anyway. Hold on, I want to do only one pass through that room to collect the last few things. Uh. Yeah, or even orange. Yeah, depending on the enemy. Yeah, if it's just a, a regular zombie, she's she's only gonna be on caution. But depending on what type of enemy it is, yeah. Why am I keeping this thing around, by the way? There should be a card key in there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I made it as far as the lab before, but I was just stuck. I I, I figured I, I had to restart and try to not do a, as not make as many mistakes as I had. When you see a health viewer, it sh it shows you the health as a as a numeric data. It's not like a health gauge or anything. I showed the actual HP value. Ah, okay. Yeah, that 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 thing I wasn't aware of. So yeah, if I manage to beat it on hard difficulty here, th it's gonna be the first time that I manage to do so. I'm after the achievements. I already got all the achievements in Resident Evil 1 HD, and I'd like to have them all here as well. Resident Evil 1 is like piss easy by comparison but maybe this is because I know it better also I played it more so maybe that's why I'm not having such a hard time with it I mean, beating the game without saving or heating is tough. Nah, it's okay. It's all right. Nah, uh, r zero. Yeah, I would imagine that it is. I wouldn't want even want to spend time trying to do so unless I had like inf infinite ammo or on on at least one weapon or something. Then that would be that would make it easier. Yeah, but on Resident Evil One, I I can I can handle it. It's it's not a problem. Oh, what? You just have to... Uh, you combine them for more challenge? <laughs> what? You, th you think it wasn't enough? Oh, come on! You have the card. Use it. Isn't it isn't that here that you have to use this thing? Oh, maybe I wasn't right in front of it. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Beating the game with both on danger. <laughs> I imagine you would have to save very frequently, though. <laughs> this is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. 
How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... <laughs> what happened? Uh, when you die in that one, does it, like, put you back at the beginning, or, uh, does it put you back, like, a little before, maybe, or something like that? I can't, I can't remember, of, uh, uh, to be honest. I died a few times before here, too, but I can't remember exactly where it put me back. Like, you mean you had to restart it from the beginning, maybe? No checkpoints, yeah. Yeah, and if you did, if you, if you didn't save yet, yeah, it means we're starting from the beginning, yeah, obviously. <coughs> uh, these guys don't have any ammo on them, right? No, that would have been too convenient. I mean, last time I didn't think of checking, because I didn't expect them to have any, but this time I figured, well, I might as well try. Mm-hmm. Well, there is... I mentioned, it, I mentioned that, like, very frequently on my stream, but there's the Wii U game Zombie U. When you play it on survival difficulty, death means, like, Restarting the whole thing from the beginning. I mean you can save But if you get grabbed by a zombie you restart the whole game from the beginning if you die and it saves instantly as soon as you as you get grabbed I I managed to get very very close to the end in that mode, but n never to beat it completely Yeah, but I don't know, but I I enjoyed just fine. Well, on Wii U anyway. No, not not the other the other versions are are crap because you don't have the like du dual screen experience, which ma makes the game like more interesting in my opinion anyway. In terms of story or uh, being interesting in terms of gameplay, yeah, it's perhaps not very interesting, but I I like like the the tension that that, that comes with like playing it. Ah, uh, I picked I picked Rebecca. I didn't mean to pick her. Ah, geez, shit. I wanted to go as Billy. Ah, crap. Okay, well, if that's how it's going to be. Ah, uh, what? I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Actually, yeah, I think I, n I never saw that because I never used Rebecca with the uh, for, for, for that part of the game is what I mean uh, Did I pick up that ammo or did or did I not pick it up? I think I did Okay, well, let's go. Edward, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Richard is, is the one in the mansion. Yeah, y I understood who you meant, but uh, I didn't pick up on the mistake there, yeah. I'm gonna make a detour so I can avoid a few of those zombies. Yeah, see here, for example, yeah, they, you have a load time that takes an awful lot of time. That takes a bit longer, but I feel safer going that way and knowing that I won't have to dodge that, that room, to go through that room that's already full of zombies, which I was lucky enough to manage to dodge on the, on the way in.
I may get the scene with Edward, but I won't have to fight it, fight him if I don't want to. At least I don't think I had to. Do I? I know he's he's in the next room. No, yeah, yeah, he's in the in the next one. There it is, yeah. I think this is the first time I tried to do that with Rebecca. Because it doesn't make sense to go with Rebecca. Because she's weaker. Edward! No! Stop! Don't come any closer! I can imagine when you're used to to door skip, how much of a difference it makes with what you're used to see. Yeah. <laughs> this one here in particular is really horrend horrendous. Oh, jeez. Ah, no, it's not this one. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, no, I've got it confused with another one. And it doesn't make any sense either. I mean, it's not like the Switch can't handle loading things fast. I've, I've, I'm just done playing through Resident Evil 4 on the Switch, and it loaded fine. It loaded, like, blazingly fast, even. It doesn't make any sense that this game in particular should have such long load times. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 I imagine it, I imagine it must be, yeah. Okay, 67. Uh, 7 times 9, that's 63. Plus a uh, 4. Uh, uh, hold on. Seven times nine. That's sixty-three. Sixty-three. No, that's not gonna do it. Uh, I need seventy-two. So nine times eight. That's seventy-two plus nine. I'm here. I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, we managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Uh, you might not have enough room. Yeah, she does. Come on, come on, Rebecca. Come on, 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 come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Uh, 
Uh, Billy is getting eaten though. I'll check it out. Okay. This way. Okay. Okay. Get 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 out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Where is she going? <laughs> This is so stressful. I don't want to have to face them. I can leave the other items behind. I don't. There, there's nothing in there that I need anyway. Okay, but now. Uh. I should save as soon as I arrive in the hole there. I only saved one since I started, so... Uh, did you ever see, uh... You mean the one that was never finished? The one that was, that, that, that was not released? I did download the ROM for it. I, I did try the ROM on an emulator of, of that one. And I do own Resident Evil Gaiden myself. Like a, 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 fu a full copy of, of, of that game. Even though it's not like re very good, <laughs> admittedly. But uh, well, it, it's a part of my collection at least. <laughs> She's just a rookie, a member of Stars. <laughs> mm, what about the maid? <laughs> You'd rather pretend it doesn't exist. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. I don't know if you've ever saw it running or even tried it, but Alone in the Dark on the Game Boy Color what is pretty impressive. I, I own that game too. Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare for the Game Boy Color. Well, <laughs> it's not very good either, but visually speaking, it is a nice show of what the hardware could do. But I'm not saying it's a good game, though. I'd rather play the PS1 or Dreamcast version of that game. That's why I say the only game Barry is playable in is Ari Revelations 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? I'm gonna, s I'm gonna <laughs> say it. I'm a bigger fan of Revelations 1 b for because of the raid mode in Revelations 1, which I prefer. But I, I liked the campaign in Revelations 2 more, especially when you play it with, with uh, a s another person in co-op. That game is awesome. To, to play in co-op. In solo, nah. I'm not so sure, but... Ah, well, well, well you see, I'm, I'm different in that way. I think that the higher challenge, because of the fact that to get the Trinity bonuses, you have to not get hit, makes it m more worth it to me. But, eh, ah, well, anyway. Not how crap comes shoveled in microtransactions. Ah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, thank you for the follow, Sarah X nineteen ninety five. But I didn't have to deal with microtransactions, I guess, for uh, for for that one, or at least, well, I, I, I never chose to, anyway. What, what what part of it was like microtransactions in that one? I can't recall. In Resident Evil Revelations 2. As Natalia with the katana. <laughs> Natalia, that's the little girl, isn't it? Natalia.
In Ref 2, they made you pay to boost your storage capacity. Oh, yeah, that's pretty crap. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this thing here. Uh, with mods, you could play raid mode with the kid. Mm hmm. Ah, yeah, so on the PC version then. Um, come on, I just want to make space so that she can mix those two herbs together. Come on. Ah! Exchange. Okie dokie. Funny seeing a kid running around with guns and a big ass sword. <laughs> It it beats throwing bricks around any time. <laughs> that's for sure. I preferred those chapters where you where you could play Moira over those where you could where one player had to play the little kid throwing bricks around. this again I'm taking my time with this I'm, I'm not like trying to be fast just trying to play it safe and make things more convenient for myself how if you died as Natalia it said fainted yeah because Oh my good my goodness uh, a kid that dies in a video game how violent Yeah I guess that was the the thinking behind this I read you didn't fuck around when you died as Sherry straight out said you died <laughs> Yeah that's true Yeah with the uh, dogs eating her or that sort of thing even Yeah, no subtlety whatsoever. Um, hold on. Yeah, because of where I'm going, I think I will prefer it if I have those things with me. Okay, um... Go alone. Roger. I intend to kill them at some point, but when I can gather more of them in, in the same spot and just blow their heads off with the shotgun if I can. <laughs> Trying to be conservative with this. I guess it was due to regulations these days would be banned in Australia and Germany 100% and get adults only in America. Yeah, I guess so. Especially the thing about Germany. Yeah, I know how they, how, how they are over there with these kind of regulations indeed. Ah, but I try. I thought I might be able to dodge it. Nah, t tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. I think it, I think they are, yeah. Okay, tell you what. Uh, no, it's in. It's under the options menu, I think. Oh. Oh no, quit game was here. Okay. I'm going to reload my save file. Biohazard zero. Saves have got to be good for something, right? <laughs> A 
are the faint sounds of footsteps those of survivors? Um, I'll go alone. Okay. Yeah, I will kill these guys. Those in the room with the small statues where you get the the shotgun and there's a a can of gas, I think, also. Yes, it's the Japanese version because it did not get the physical release in Europe for the Switch. So I imported the Japanese copy because I could get it for much, much cheaper. They were selling each individual game for 30 euros on the eShop in Europe. And I could get both games physical. Well, the first game wasn't physical. It was a download code that comes with the cartridge of Resident Evil Zero. But I could get both games for 42 euros, shipping included. And I still had some, some store credit on that website that I could use to get like more of a discount still. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the Japanese version. <laughs> Got my... Ah, oh, yeah, you can't really see it there. Ah, oh, well, anyway. It's the Jap Japanese physical package. <laughs> ah! He was quick to be on me. Okay, it's dead. Yes, yeah, he got grabbed, but he's, st he's still on fine. Come on, grab the, l the little statue. Come on. You never imported a game? Yeah, I do on a regular basis. Especially because on the Switch in Europe, especially with games from Capcom, we always get like the short end of the stick when it comes to Capcom in Europe on Switch. Uh, I imported from Capcom, well, the Phoenix Wright Trilogy on Switch. Uh, this one, Biohazard Origins Collection. Uh, what else? Dragon's Dogma didn't get a physical release in Europe either. Uh, what's that one? Okami didn't get a physical release in Europe either. Uh, Mega Man 11 didn't get a physical release in Europe either. Uh, Me the Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2 I imported from Japan as well because only Japan got a physical release on Switch of the second part of the collection. Uh, and I think that's it from Capcom on the Switch. Yeah, I think that's it. That's about everything. Yeah. So when it, because of Capcom on the Switch, I had to import a lot. <laughs> I know that guy is gonna... Yeah. play most modern games on PC, so yeah, physical, yeah, it's pretty much gone, yeah, indeed. Just blow their heads off, for God's sake. It shouldn't be that hard to accomplish. Well, I might as well leave them there now. I'm rarely ever gonna be back through that part of the mansion anyway. Uh, I say the mansion, it's a training center. I have to leave that green herb behind though. I don't like it, but I kinda have to. Which shotgun would you go with, by the way? 
would you keep using the how do they call it the hunting rifle or something like that the bolt action the like shotgun or something but I say bolt no it's not really bolt action but well the one with the only two that's a bit more powerful that can only house two two sh two shells or would you go for the one that can hold more shells you ditch the hunting rifle yeah well that's what I usually do but I was wondering about maybe advice from someone who is better at this than I am <laughs> that's what I usually do also and I guess I wasn't wrong then to do it that way well I'm gonna use the two shells that are inside of it and then ditch it for good then and you have yeah for all the consoles you have flashcards yeah mm. Yeah, fair point. Same as same as the knife after the scorpion, it's useless. Mm. Well, I ended up not even using it on the scorpion since you can like lock it into a, like a, a repeated cycle with the with the handgun. But I ended up wasting too much ammo, especially on the hard difficulty. So I don't know if this was the better idea or not um, well she has the hunting the hunting rifle yeah okay well I need the the handle follow me yeah uh, which door is it again it's not that one it's not that one it's the other one I think yeah, on the other side. You can stun lock it with the knife too. Oh, you can? Oh shit, if I had known, <laughs> I would have used that too. Oh, that's something I should tell my bro later tonight. I didn't have to take control of her. I could have used the right stick to control her. Like this, for example. Okay, Rebecca is in place. Could actually totally skip it on console using a glitch. Oh. Like in the older versions, though, not in the HD version, right? In the HD versions? Oh, really? I don't know if it is in this version. I I would be surprised that they patched things for the Switch version because they they they're, they're really bad when it comes to patching things for uh, later versions releasing on the Switch. You just leave the glitches as as they are in the other versions released like years before. They really don't don't put a lot of effort into into do that sort of thing. Mm. I yeah, cause the PC version has a 60 FPS, yeah. Yeah, this one is 30 FPS too, obviously, yeah. Uh, now let me think. Um... Well, I have to go that way. Well, I need both of them, uh, but I can leave that behind, though. I'm not gonna need it. Hmm. 
I can more or less remember the Let's the order in which I'm supposed to do things, but. Just go away. Yeah, it was it wasn't dead. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay, I think that room has like ink ribbons, but I think that's about everything it has. And that yeah, that map. Oh no, that uh what uh, how do they call it again? Microfilm or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, hold on. Our inventory is full, isn't it? That's not gonna help. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, they're not close enough to one another. Um. Just get on there. Get get on there. Get on there. Okay. I know those two things fall from the ceiling. Hopefully I can pick what I what I want from this room before they can hit me. That's the that's what I intended to do anyway. Okay, I think that's everything. I think. I think that's all you can get from here anyway. I have to come back later with the hands. The, the minute, minute hands, I think. Or the is it the hours hands for the, for the clock, but... Okay, there's another one, I think, here. No! Oh, shit! Ah! She's already on orange. Here, just open the door downstairs. It's a shame you can't use the same glitch as in Resident Evil 1 to go faster up and down the stairs. Because <laughs> I tried, it, it doesn't work here, unfortunately. Okay, what should I use on the... What, what's the name of that boss again? The Centurion, I think? What weapon should I go with? Oh man. Another one. I'm, g I'm gonna be coming back through here f several times, so... I'd like it better if that guy stay remained dead. I know the Centurion can take a lot of ammo to to fully kill. You get the fire key from him, I th as I recall.
just gonna drop that microfilm in front of the door where it's going to be used later. Uh, no, not examine. We'll leave it behind. Well, I'd like to save. Hey, where did it put my increments? Uh, isn't isn't there a button for them? No. Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, they're in front of the stairs. Okay. I don't suppose that using nah. I don't think using Molotov cocktails would work well on the on that boss. I don't expect that to be the case anyway. I don't know. Maybe using the rifle and emptying the the hunting rifle on it. Okay, uh, up the stairs. Did I drop the? E no, I forgot to do so. the hunting rifle between the two of them. Um. Okay, at least use use those two and then and switch over to the other one. This way. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll go alone. Roger. Okay, uh, switch over to the other one. Yeah. If, if you try to shoot it from too far away, it's not gonna deal nearly as much damage. As I understand it, anyway. a lot of ammo. Wait, 
Wait. Is it dead or not? Ah, oh, it takes just too much. Rebecca! <sighs> She seems to be taking damage during that, that fight, but does it actually count as damage? No, no, not at all. Um, hmm. Well, all right. Um, I try to grab the grenade launcher now. Those insects can take, can deal quite a lot of damage too. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna need the statue that's in there. I'll go alone. Okay. Eventually. Uh. Well, that took f that took four shells. Inventory is already full, though. Uh, I guess I can ask Rebecca to come in now. To get the statue. Follow me. Okay. Okay, I have to go and get the... Um, how do you call that? The, the, the gas for the... F for Billy's lighter, I think? Well, it's, it's in the kitchen anyway. That's something he can handle on his own, however. I'll check it out. Okay. Just gonna let her drop the statue near the bigger statue. <laughs> um, oops. Ah, I can't leave it here. Great. Okay, there we go. Okay, leave Rebecca here for now. It's not frozen, it's just me pausing to the thing because they're, they're, they don't seem to be moving. There is one on the right, you can hear it from in, in my headset. Ah, uh, just at the camera change, right? Just as the camera changes, changes angle. Uh. And my inventory is full. Well, tell you what, I'm going to, to, to redo the boss, I guess. Y 
yeah. I didn't save after after defeating the boss, so yeah. I'm afraid if, if I if I want to play this on hard difficulty, this is something that I'm gonna have to do frequently. Reloading the save file just to try and have a better outcome. Yeah, there if there's two of them, there's not much I can do. I'm wondering if the hunting rifle wouldn't be better to blast off their heads the way that I was trying to do it. I'll just fight that boss again, I guess. I know the hunting rifle is a bit more powerful. Maybe that would be enough to blast these heads. Let's regroup. Roger. I'm wondering if I shouldn't tackle the centurion with the hunting rifle. That would be a bit less convenient. But if it's more powerful, maybe I can save some ammo in the process? Uh, hold on. Well, at least I know that I'm not alone in f feeling like this is the hardest Resident Evil game to be playing on hard. And that would explain why I could never do it. <laughs> I have the intention of defeating the odds, but... Well, we've already seen the cutscene, right? So I can skip it. Is it just me or is it just taking more ammo? I think in the end that took about just as much as it would have otherwise. I don't think that made a significant difference. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. If anything, I'm sorry I'm I'm even wondering if that didn't take more ammo than, than it did the last time. This reminded me that I've yet to watch the human centipede. <laughs> Isn't that like a really, really like crappy old movie? Or something? I, I think I've I've heard of that, but I've never watched it myself.
Let's split up. Roger. But I didn't take any damage this time. I don't know if crappy, but it's from 2009, around that year. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I heard about that, but I can't remember if it was in a context where it was praising the film or if it was making fun of it. <laughs> so, uh, I think I heard about it in an episode of the, the Nostalgia Critic, which usually is an indication that it wouldn't be good. But uh, he also mentions good movies uh, every now and then, so I can't know, in all fairness. Um, what now? should I do? Hmm. Oh, hold on. Ah! Limited inventory space is not the best thing that they ever invented. Statue goes there. Then I have to go back again. <laughs> Exchange at least inventory is more realistic than carrying around bombs, arrows, and musical instruments in God knows where. <laughs> yeah, yeah, th that's true as well. It's just not convenient when you're just trying to have fun. Um. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Yeah, right. In 20 minutes or so, I should handle stream, but not 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 right now. I'd like to at least go as far as completing both statues if I can. I'll just get the, the ink ribbons so I can save just one more time here. 
there sh they should be right around here. I I could I could see them glow a little bit. That key I just got goes to two doors. Yeah, in that room I kinda have to kill those zombies because... You keep going through that room several times, so... Kinda... Don't have a choice. It's like impossible to blow their heads off in this one. I don't know, it just it just doesn't work. Biohazard. Either that or I'm very unlucky. To, to hear that I could have sunlocked the scorpion and cheesed the scorpion with the knife. <laughs> oh man. I wish I had known that sooner. I don't think this is reason enough to restart the whole game from the beginning, but if I find myself stuck again, this is something that I will appreciate knowing about. Or should I just aim for their heads like that instead of trying to? Because usually with the other shotgun, he's holding it like more like on the uh, on the lower position and at, on the part angle instead of holding it on his shoulder and aiming upwards. He seems more like he's aiming for the ceiling when he's aiming that way. I keep hearing that it deals more damage. I wonder, I'm starting to wonder if that's true, or if that's because I'm playing on hard difficulty, perhaps. Oh. What should I do? Molotov cocktails, maybe. And then finish them off with the handgun. Biohazard zero. Tricky, tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. What what is it now? You can't leave items in this room. What what? Because there's already too much. What about here? This is the one room where you keep go where you keep coming back, so it's normal that I would want to leave items in here.
It's the one room where you just keep coming, coming back. But no, it's not letting me leave my items there. Forcing me to go out of my way if I want to get them to get them back ever. This room, if anything, if anything, should have a better capacity. Even the game tells you not to litter. <laughs> it's not littering. I'm I'm gonna be picking them up later. I'm not dropping them dropping them out like permanently or anything. I know there's one that way too. Oh! <laughs> that was lucky. Okay, there's empty bottles here to make co Molotov cocktails with them. This combine with this. Right, where are they going to be once I get through that door one more time? Normally they should be more or less in the same location they were before. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, the amount of luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm willing to admit that was pure luck. <laughs> um, I should have left some gas around here. Or kerosene, I'm not quite sure what they call it in this game, but... I should have left that lying around in there. Uh, I thought I did. Ah, no, it's in, oh no, okay, it's upstairs. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be much longer anyway. Thanks for watching, RNG. I'll see you again soon. Rebecca with me here. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right, um a look at the map, maybe. Uh. Okay, so once I go through that door, then to the door down. Okay, yeah, there's only two rooms over that way. One has no enemies, and the other one... Huh, there might be new zombies in the corridor there, though. Hold on, I know one of them has... Uh, the wings that go on one of the two statues. The other room, I can't quite remember what it has. It has ammo, at the very least. 
Ah, no more enemies. That's that's cool. Okay, I just heard crows, but that was outside. <laughs> that wasn't in the game. Okay, that should unlock the door. It's a bit like it's a bit weird when th when there's like no sound going on or anything. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't get bitten or anything. The Book of Good. Back through here. I should be able to discard the red key, so that's gonna be one more inventory space I have. And normally there shouldn't be any enemies in there. No, 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 no. Hold on, Rudy. Just get down. I can see ammo glowing on the on the table there. Well, you can see it better from that camera angle, so... There's a switch here. Yep. Flip it. What was that again? Oh, it's the, the hand that goes on the clock, okay. There wasn't anything like well hidden, like ammo or something maybe around here, no. No, okay, well I, I had to make sure. Ammo is in limited supply enough that you should really pay attention to that sort of thing. I guess I could play a bit more. 
what did I get just now? Okay, the wings that go on that one. This one, yeah. Just gonna use it on the statue. Ah, oh, come on, you're right in front of it. Just put it on. For crying out loud. Mm-hmm. Right. Um I think the grenade launcher is already loaded with that type of grenade, so I should be able to combine the two of the two together. minute's hand on the clock. Uh, what time do I have to set it to again, though? Uh, I think it's 8... 8.15, I think. Hopefully I can get by without getting eaten in this case. Oh come on, you're right in front of it, damn it. Come on, I should be able to run away s immediately. Right. Yeah, I think it's the best thing that you can do, is hugging the wall in this place. That way they can only, they can only come, come and get you from one side. You're not as much of an easy target that way, is what I should, I should, I should say. Hmm. 
Okay, zombies... Uh, in that room. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, I have plenty of space. Hopefully I don't die. It's a microfilm I think you have to come and get from this place. Praise the sun. <laughs> oh man. Bingo. Ho 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 ho. Mm. I should get the microfilm. Hmm. I'm on caution though. I I will get the the one like single green herb I have here and use it. Okay, in the toilets, I can't remember exactly what you get from there. I think it's just um kerosene or something like that. Green herb. Ah, but there, there's another one right here. Okay, so I'm fine. Or at least I would be if I could combine them. I had to leave that, that fuel. I didn't have any, any choice. It's not her that I have to control. Okay. I hope I don't end up regretting not getting that that fuel from that place. Some bullets, but not much. Ah, 
Ah uh, yeah, he's in orange. He's in orange too now. Right, well, I'm gonna save here, I guess. Uh, I should use, well, uh, an herb mix, I guess. Or, or do I really have to? Isn't there another way? Come on. Okay. Or I might as well do the puzzle in that room since I have to come here to to save anyway because I need this I'll check it out Roger Zero A. Uh, I have to check the document again. Uh, uh, files. Hold on. No, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, no, 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 okay, okay. Let's regroup. No, not regroup. Let's split up. Roger. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save here. <sighs> and that's gonna be everything for me for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I don't have to restart the whole thing from the beginning again this time. But uh, hopefully that continues to go well. Well, that could have gone better, like not getting bitten when I did right there but ah uh, well what you gonna do when it happens it happens thanks for watching anyway and i'll see you next time take care bye bye